Well, welcome back. 05 Chevy Suburban. One of my cars, and uh, Eric O would say, the money light is on. Not really what I want to see when it's one of my cars because it just costs me money. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Um, but I'm going to show you the code that, that's throwing, and uh, we're going to go see if we can fix this. Let's go see. PO446. Um, PO451, fuel tank pressure sensor performance. I broke my own roll. I talked about this in one of my other videos about this specific thing. I broke my own roll. I had to put a fuel pump in this uh, maybe two months ago, which means you got to drop the tank to put a fuel pump in it. And uh, I put it aftermarket because the difference in price was just ridiculous between OEM and uh, aftermarket. And I thought about it when I was doing it and thought about taking the fuel tank pressure sensor from the OEM one and putting it on the new pump. But I had 190,000 miles. I really didn't want to do that. I should have bought a fuel tank pressure sensor in the OEM one and swapped it out. I didn't. And then a month and a half later, I get this code. I'll show you the data here. But um, my rule is sensors, always OEM. If AC Delco makes the sensor for the car, it gets AC Delco. If it's if it's uh, Denso, it gets Denso. Whatever it is, you know. If it's a mass airflow sensor, a lot of GMs are made by Hitachi. It gets a Hitachi. Otherwise, aftermarket stuff is just going to cause problems. So, I broke my own rule, and now I get to pay for it because I got to drop this tank again. And I'm pretty sure I already looked at this data once. It's fuel tank pressure sensor. If you have a lift, you can probably just lower this tank a little bit enough to sneak your hand in there on the floor. It's almost impossible you just can't get a good angle at it so i'm gonna to have to drop the tank again that's my fault but no big deal so let me show you the data that we that I, we can see let me put live data on here and let's see what we got see if we can show it to you yeah let's see fuel tank pressure sensor <clears throat> look at the Right? Negative nine. Pulling a vacuum on the tank? I highly doubt it. So, what I'm going to do is go take the gas cap off and see if this changes. Uh, I don't think it will. Uh, that should be around zero. Basically, it should be just about atmospheric pressure. This, this uh, truck is cold. I just started it. So, let's go pull the gas cap. Take a look now. See what we got. And what do we have? Absolutely no change. What does that tell me? There's not nine inches of vacuum or nine, I don't know, mill, mill, I don't know what the, uh, that measurement stands for. Uh, gas caps off, it should be around zero. It should be atmospheric, really. Uh, so, pretty sure a two month old aftermarket fill tank pressure sensor is bad. So, I'm going to drop this tank. We'll do a little bit of testing, make sure it's not the wiring, which I highly doubt that it is. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at uh, what this looks like. I'll try to link in another video, my other video I just did, you know, like two months ago on replacing the fuel pump. I'm not going to really show you dropping the tank. You can see that one. You can look at that uh, video if you want to see it. Let me go do that, pull this apart, and then we'll come back and take a look at this data. And I have an OEM sensor ready to go. Let's get this thing straightened out. So here it is. Got it out. There's the new one. OEM. Here's part number for it. Hopefully you can see that number. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what I did to get the tank down. I didn't take the tank all the way out, but I dropped it enough to get at it. Uh, and a couple jacks and rich up there and reached up there and wiggled this out of the tank. It just pushes into the top of the tank, that grommet right there. Let me show you. There's the front of the tank. There's the back of the tank sitting on two jacks. I have a board on this one. That one's a platform jack, so I don't need it. Undid the straps. Now in the back, there's a hose right there that goes up over that cross member up there. This is the other end of it right here. You gotta undo that. You gotta let it down a little bit so you can sneak your hand in there and let it out. Up there on the charcoal, yeah, I can't speak, charcoal canister. Two connectors. 
undid them, undid my filler neck, and uh, next to the filler neck up there, you should be able to see that little hose. Uh, and then up on the inside front of the tank, there's one more connector. I undid that. Now that allows me to drop, it gives me enough to drop this tank. It pumps right here, right, right under this frame rail, this outer frame rail. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's my connector right there. Right, come on, focus. Well, I'm not going to focus, but wait for the um, fuel tank pressure sensor. So I'm going to go pull my fuel pump relay, uh, my fuse for that, my relay, my, my uh, fuse for that so it doesn't run. Key on engine off, I'm going to do a couple electrical tests on this wiring. I don't expect there to be an issue. I'm pretty sure this was just the uh, fuel tank pressure sensor. And uh, we'll take a look at data. See what we got. I did not let this all the way down because you got to undo. There's a fuel line that runs from the front that connects to the top of the tank, and you got to undo that again. Uh, and I don't want to do that. I have enough play in it that I just let it down enough to get at it, get in there, and get what I need out of there. New fuel tank pressure sensors in the tank uh, 1.43 voltage. That's exactly what Kai would expect from a GM. And you can see with the other one, it was minus 14. 2.82 so looks much better um, I didn't show you all the test wiring testing but I'll try to link another video in uh, from uh, South Main Auto where he kind of shows exactly um, this GM sensor and how to how to test the wiring so it was tough for me to show that to you but this looks good I'm gonna put this tank back up put everything back in place and then we'll take a look at the data when it's running there you, there you are, 1.43 volts, kind of what I would expect from a Chevy GMC, uh, 2.82 versus minus 14 for the other one, um, definitely uh, much better, uh, I'll take it out, test drive it, watch the, watch the data as I drive it, see what it does, but uh, that's pretty much what it was, uh, uh, if you had to do this for your 2000-2005 Chevy Suburban, GMC Yukon, GMC Sierra, Silverado, they're pretty much all the same. I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below, click that like button. Thanks for watching.